hello everyone uh, in this video we will see how to write a vhdl code for mod n counter in our code uh, we will take n value as uh, 25 uh, that means we are going to write a program for mod 25 counter which will count from 0 to 24 if you see the block diagram uh, here uh, there are four inputs clock dir reset input and the preset q is our output uh, size of the q is 5 bit uh, this is the functional table uh, based on the value of uh, these inputs uh, accordingly we'll get the output if the reset is 1 and pr is 0 uh, whatever may be the value of the clock and dir the output will be set to 0 this is called as a reset condition and for 0 1 uh, it will the operation will be set operation when the value of reset and pr are 0 and clock we will be using uh, falling edge of the clock that is negative edge triggered and if it dir is 1 then it will perform the up counting operation it will count from 0 to 24 and for dir equal to 0 it will perform down counting operation that is from 24 to 0 uh, let us write a vhdl code for the same okay now uh, here uh, go to file uh, take a new project for example we are writing a code for mod 25 counter okay this is a summary of the device now here uh, right click on this uh, new source uh, take a vhdl module uh, mod 25 counter click on next now here uh, as I have shown in the functional table or in this block diagram you can see uh, there are uh, four inputs clock dir reset and pr so let us write all these ports so let me first write a clock and then dir then reset and pr all these are inputs and uh, q is our output okay which is of 5 bit so 5 bit means 4 down to 0 click on next finish so the entity of the program has been created as we are uh, using a behavioral modeling uh, we, know we need to use a process statement so let me copy the code for the same okay and uh, we need to include uh, two more libraries here for this particular code okay use uh, ieee standard logic unsigned dot all and we'll add one more library that is use I triple e dot standard logic array dot all okay now this is a complete code for a uh, mod 25 counter you can see the entity and here uh, we have defined a temporary signal Q which is of the size uh, 5 bit 
okay in the sensitivity list uh, there are inputs reset pr clock and dir in the code if we see if reset is 1 uh, then the value of temporary q is equal to 0 that means all the bits of q temp are set to 0 and if pr is 1 then q temp is equal to 1 that means all the bits of q temp are equal to 1 so this is the reset operation and this is the set operation and for the falling edge of the clock if dir is equal to 1 as i told it will perform you can see in the functional table if it is 1 it will perform an upcounting operation okay else means for dir equal to 0 it will perform and down counting operation so this is the complete bhtl code now save this code click on check syntax Okay, there is an error. Uh, error is like line number 45. Unexpected signal. So, here what happened is I have written the begin keyword. Actually, it should be deleted. Okay, now again click on check syntax. Uh, save this and click on check syntax. Okay, now check syntax is completed successfully. You can weave the RTL schematic of the uh, VHTL code that you have written. Okay, this is the uh, schematic. You can see uh, four inputs and uh, Q is your output. Okay, now do the simulation of this. Uh, simulate behavioral model. Uh, waveform window will open. So this is the waveform window. Uh, here uh, you need to change uh, the values. You need to apply the values. Okay. First we will make a reset equal to 1 and let us check whether the Q temp is equal to 0 or not. Uh, according to this functional table I will go on changing the value. The first condition is reset is 1 and PR is 0. Okay, let us change, force the values. So, clock DIR reset PR Q. Okay, so what we need to do first RST 1 and PR 0. So, here uh, let me first adjust the uh, time period okay now we need to force the values as reset is 1 and PR is 0 okay apply okay simulate it for the time specified Now for reset 1 PR0 output is equal to 0. So you can see in the waveform window we got Q as 0, Q temp as 0. Okay. Now we will check for the next condition that is when reset is 0 and PR is 1. So reset. 0 okay, and PR is 1. Now run. Now you can see reset is 0, PR is 1, your output is all 1. Okay. Now for the next combination, 
reset and PR both are zero. Okay, apply the clock signal and DIR is one. Let us see the this operation. Okay, what we need to do? Reset is already zero. Now make PR also as zero. Apply. Okay. Now apply the clock signal. Force clock. So falling edge of the clock here I will give 0 and this as 1. Okay, you need to specify the time period. Suppose 1 microsecond. Uh, 1, 0, 0, 0. Again 3 times 0. Okay, apply and then click on OK. And we need to set DIR as 1. Okay. So let me set DIR as 1. Okay. Force constant 1. Apply and then OK. Now run for the specified time period. Uh, now here uh, you can see the value is 1 1 again run it for the specified time period So now it is 0 now you can see it is performing the counting operation It is performing an up counting operation 0 1 Okay, again run it 2 3 so like this it will count till 24 as it is a mod 25 counter it will count from 0 to 24 now let us check the operation for the down counting okay now you need to make a dir as 0 so let us uh, make a dir as 0 okay. force constant force the value to 0 apply okay now run for the specified time period Okay, now the highest value is what? 5 times 1. Again run it. Now you can see it is performing and down counting operation. Okay, run again for the specified time period. So like this, this particular code will perform all the operations that are specified in this functional table. Thank you.